Hi everyone. Today we're going to be talking about something semi-related to health, but more about environment and saving the earth and using up my scraps from my juicing and my smoothie making. So as you know, I do juice a lot. I juice daily and we have a lot of the food scraps and I just hate that going to waste, but sometimes I don't have time to make crackers with it or I don't use all of it for my smoothies. So I went to my local, on Zoom I did a local class on worm composting and I thought that would be perfect for me to use my scraps for the, from the juicing. So I went to the class through my rec center um, and I was able to order one of these can of worms for free and I waited and waited and I finally got it so I'm really excited. It's the can of worms and it comes like this and it comes in a huge box but you really only have to put on the lays and you have to put on the spout and that's it. The rest of it comes in the box. So it comes with the base layer which that is where the dirt is going to end up after the worms eat everything and then you stack it on top of that is going to be the first collection bin and I already put the cardboard um, from the the container in here so you're supposed to lay the cardboard down it comes with a brick of uh, this coconut core kind of thing which you have to expand in water and I already did that and so in order to do that you're supposed to put the block of the coconut stuff into a bucket and to put like 5.5 liters of water and it'll expand. So this is, it, it was the size of a brick, like this kind of size, the brick, and I just put it in water and it expanded and it turns into this kind of mulch kind of thing. So what you're supposed to do is after it all expands, you lay down the cardboard and you're supposed to take this and lay it in here and spread it out on top of the cardboard. So you put the cardboard down so this stuff I guess won't fall through and what's going to happen is I'm going to place the worms on top of this which I just got the worms today so also very excited. The worms came separately through FedEx. Two days shipping. They came from LA so they came via FedEx today and I will show you what they look like in a minute. Okay, so I'm almost done with taking all this uh, stuff out. I'm doing this for the first time, just like real time, so you can comment below if you have any suggestions for me how to up keep this worm bin up and prevent like mold and smelliness and all that, gnats. But you're supposed to basically just take all this out and put it on this top layer and then very exciting I'm gonna just get my worms so you're just supposed to spread it around and then I received the worms today it came via FedEx so the worms came via FedEx, but it comes in this bag, just this bag in a FedEx box. And I cut this open and oh, kind of nervous. What do they look like? So there they are. There's the worms. Okay, so what you're supposed to do is just throw the worms on and you're supposed to just let them dig themselves into this brown kind of mulch and you let them take their time I guess and dig through the mulch till they're all underneath I'm gonna let them just go through they're probably shocked because they've been in transit for two days. This 
So basically after they make their way and you can't see them and they've gone all the way down through this brown mulch, then I'm supposed to put my, um, whatever I want to feed them. So for worms, basically you're not supposed to feed them anything citrus or onion. Uh, but you can do like food scraps, limit the amount of meat. Um, you do eggshells, coffee grounds, lots of stuff. So I have my juicing pulp. So when all the worms go down underneath, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this pulp above them. And then you're supposed to cover it. You could cover it with like a wet uh, paper bag to keep them nice and moist and this area moist. Or you can buy a worm blanket and I got $40 off. So I, I did get a worm blanket, but it's actually not coming for another two weeks. So I'm just gonna start first cause these, I want my worms to get situated. After you're done with that and after you cover it with the wet blanket, then we're gonna, then you're supposed to put the lid back on, which it has holes in here. So then you put the, you put the blanket on and then you're supposed to put this cover on. And basically after that, every day after I juice or if like we've eaten apples or eggs, I'm just gonna throw in and rotate on top of here and the worms will start to eat all the, the waste or the, the uh, scraps, the worms will eat the scraps and basically their poop is gonna go into this collection tray. And this thing here is gonna be like the worm juice, which is also, you can, you can water your plants with this. This little spout would be, it's worm juice. So I'm gonna turn it off. So if there's anything that drips under here, I'm gonna do that. So um i will give you updates of how it goes it's gonna be a long time it takes a f at least three or four months i believe to get your first uh soil that's going to end up in here that's going to be nice rich soil made from all my juicing scraps so if you have any questions or if you have any comments on um, tips of how i can continue to do this really well please leave a comment below and like the video if the, if it's been helpful but once again this is the can of worms that I got for free because I attended a worm compost class. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.